Hello and welcome to day 21 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're going to show you the best way to color grade your images to make them stunningly artistic in Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you my favorite way of color grading in Photoshop. We're going to be using the camera raw filter. It is so incredibly powerful. Let's jump in and show you how to do it. So here we are in Photoshop. Now I'm going to take my background layer and convert this into a smart object. That way I can change these settings at any point in time. Let's go here to filter. We're going to go to convert for smart filters. And now you can see I have my smart object icon here on my layer. There we go. So we're going to go to filter and down here to camera raw filter. Now there are a lot of ways to color grade your images in Photoshop. This just happens to be my favorite. So color grade or camera raw filter. Let's go ahead and hit command plus a couple times to zoom in. You can hit the space bar and click and drag your image. Now here on the right hand side, you're going to see you can adjust your light and the color and effects, but we actually have a panel that's called color grading. So let's open this up. Now, if you've used Lightroom, either Lightroom Classic or Lightroom, you're going to see that color grading is basically the same here in camera raw as it is in those programs. So if you like using those programs for color grading, you'd be happy to know the same tools are in Photoshop. Okay, now we have a few different views up here. So let's go ahead and talk through these different views. We have a three way adjustment where you're going to see your midtones, your shadows and your highlights. And then you can choose each of these individually. And this is kind of like what I recommend because you have a lot of control over your hue, saturation and luminance. Okay, and then at the end, we're going to show you how to blend and balance these with your images. So I like to start off here with my midtones. Now, basically what we're going to do is you have this like uh, <laughs> your control panel here, you can click here in the center and drag out. And as you drag out in any direction, you're going to see this is going to allow you to adjust your saturation of your color. And if you click on this icon here, you can adjust the hue of your color. Now you also have hue and saturation and luminance right here as well. So let's go ahead and take this out to you know, right about there, you can see as I'm moving this little icon here inside of my heads up display, it's adjusting my saturation. So if you prefer, prefer to use this saturation slider, it does the same thing. Okay, I like to bring my saturation up, you know, right about halfway or so. And then you can either click here and kind of move your hue slider around. And this, by the way, I do want to mention there's no right or wrong here. This is an artistic effect that we're going through. So like literally just whatever feels good to you. There's no right or wrong. <laughs> okay, now we're going to bring our hue. I like this kind of like bluish color here in my mid -tose. This looks really good. Now, one thing that I really recommend doing as you're going through this process is here at the very top where you see color grading, you have a little eye here. Okay, you can just toggle this visibility, you press and hold it to show you the before and after. So here's our before. And there's the after it's literally just adding some blues into our midtones. I also really suggest using your luminance slider because you can make your midtones either lighter or darker here and it creates a really nice effect. So there we go. That looks really good. So our midtones are on point. I like those. Let's go ahead and move into our shadows. And again, I like to bring my saturation up about 50% and then go through my hue and just kind of see what works for me. And in this case, I kind of like this bluish green in my shadows. And then usually I go ahead and make my saturation a little bit lower. I'm just, you know, kind of working with these sliders uh, to see what I like best about my image. And then of course, I always recommend working with our luminosity. Okay, so now we can see I've made adjustments. We have a little icon here to tell us that we've made some changes to our shadows and our midtones. Let's go into our highlights. So both our shadows and our midtones, they were on the cooler side. So maybe with our highlights, let's bring our saturation up. Maybe we'll make our highlights a little bit warmer. So we can go ahead and bring this around and ooh, that's looking really good. I like a little bit of green in there. Actually, it's looking pretty good. And let's make sure we adjust this and then set our luminance. There we go. And I just think this is such a cool looking image. It's nice and moody. I like doing color grading with like artistic type photos. Uh, we have two examples for you today, but I just wanted to show you like I think artistic type photos and stuff with like deep shadows, I think tends to work really well also because you can add some nice color to those shadows. All right, so let's just go ahead and turn this off and on. So here's the before and the after. Now blending and balance. This is also really nice because blending, as I push this over to the left or to the right, this is basically going to uh, favor the shadow adjustments that we made or the highlight adjustments that we made. You can see our highlights we kind of push those towards this greenish color. 
So it's going to kind of push the effect here that we made more towards my highlights and then over to the left more towards the shadows. There's no right or wrong here. Just kind of move this slider until you see a good effect. Again, this is an artistic effect that we're adding to our image. There's no right or wrong. Let's go to our balance, which will basically dictate how this blends in with our shadows versus our highlights in our sample image. And again, there's no right or wrong. Just kind of get this to about where you think it looks good. And that's the answer. Just it's all about what you think looks good. Now, we're going to go ahead and show you this icon right down here to toggle the default settings. If I click that, that shows us our before and after. I really like this color. So we're ready to hit OK and commit these changes. Now, keep in mind, because we made a smart object first, you can see we have our smart object. Now it's loaded up as a smart filter. So I can simply turn this off or on at any time. OK, and I can go back in here. And if I want to change my settings, you can just double click on your camera raw filter and you're back into your color grading and here you can make those changes. So earlier we were showing you shadows, midtones, and highlights. We used this display where you have a lot of control, but you can also go to your three way and basically see the exact same thing. So this is where you adjust your saturation. Okay. Your hue. And then this is your lightness and you'll see your midtone shadow and highlights all in the same thing. And then you have blending and balance at the bottom. You can also go through if you want to, just add a global color and this will just simply put a color throughout your entire image. Usually I don't use this as much because I think it's nice to be able to put different colors in your shadows, midtones and highlights. But if you did just want to add a global color, you could do that. OK, now, of course, you can make these changes at any time. Hit OK and it will automatically update on your image. And I think this looks really, really good. There's no right or wrong. My suggestion just from, you know, like my color grading and any color work that I've done is once you get your image color graded, just go take a little bit of a break. Um, just go do something else and kind of come back and take a look at your image and ask yourself if you still like it. Some things I'll also do, uh, maybe I'll do a quick screenshot and then send it to my phone and look at it on my phone and be like, do I like this on different, you know, different devices? Just a little bit of a tip that I've learned helps me when I'm working with color in Photoshop because your eyes tend to like get used to things. And it's happened to me a lot where, I'll do some color grading or some like heavy co color work and I think it looks great. And then I'll take a break, you know, like a couple hours or even the next day and I'll come look at it again. And it's like, that is way too strong. What was I thinking? And, and it's because your eyes actually kind of get used to colors. So just take a break and come back and take a look at it again. That's going to really help you create a color grade that you like. Now we have one more sample image here, color grading O2. This one I wanted to just do a little bit more of like a you know, romantic engagement shoot, just a little bit, not like a moody artistic shot, just something that's a little bit more straightforward. Uh, so same exact workflow. We're going to go to our filter and make sure we convert this to a smart filter. There you can see we have our smart object icon. Next, we're going to go to filter and then down here to camera raw filter and the same exact workflow. OK, I'm not showing you anything different here. But what we do want to make sure is, you know, to show you that, yes, this can, in fact, work for all types of images. So we're going to bring in some color there. Again, if you want to use this like heads up display, you can use this or you can go ahead and just use your hue sliders, whatever works for you. I kind of like I'm personally always drawn to like cool colors in the shadows and like warm colors in the highlights. That's just kind of like what I personally am drawn to. But everyone's going to be a little different. And sometimes you might be surprised, like. Um, I've done some stuff where like I've done deep reds and deep greens and I'm like, oh, this looks so cool. Like this kind of like orangey looks pretty good, but let's go ahead and just change that. And we can work on our luminance here, mid tones, and then grab our highlights. And then maybe we want to go back cool again with our highlights. There we go. And kind of work on our saturation and our luminance as well. There we go. And kind of just dial that in just a little bit, something like that. I think that looks really, really nice. And again, let's just go to this toggle visibility. Just press and hold that. So there's our before and our after. This is looking really, really cool. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And we can see now that this is our changes with the camera raw filter. Now, there's one more thing I do want to show you, and it's actually a really cool feature. So right over here where we see our smart filters. OK, this is where I can like turn this off or on at any time. I can double click on my camera raw filter and I can get back into camera raw and I can change these settings. Let's hit cancel here. But let's just say you like the color grading that you did. You just want it to be a little bit more subtle. You can actually go here to the right where it says camera raw filter. Go ahead and click on this icon. Double click on there 
And now you have your blending options, okay? You can actually have this blend in with your image. So you could have this effect like darken or multiply or lighten or screen. You can have it do all kinds of interesting things to your image, but you can also adjust your opacity here. And this is cool. So if you want it, you're like, I like this color effect that I did. I just want to make it a little bit visible, less visible. You can adjust your opacity and hit okay. And now that just only affects the opacity of the color grading they did. So there before and after, it's just gonna be a little bit more subtle. So this is a great way, if you like your colors, you just wanna make them like a little bit more subtle, go ahead and double click on this icon, adjust your opacity, and it's the perfect way to go. In my opinion, I think just about every image can benefit from a little bit of color grading. It just adds a little bit more of an artistic feel and kind of sets the tone for a photograph. And because we can do this non-destructively within Adobe Camera Raw and turn this off or on at any time, there's really no reason why we shouldn't try it. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Give us a big thumbs up if you're enjoying 30 days of Photoshop and we'll see you tomorrow for more great tips. Thanks again and I'll flare you later. Bye everyone. <laughs>